Hello and welcome to Solve for the solution to my whole in the sphere problem. So if we take the volume of a sphere and subtract the volume of the cylinder and the volume of the two spherical caps, we get a very ugly formula which has uh, two uh, different radius, the radius of the sphere and the first spherical caps and the radius of the cylinder. But, as you can see on this drawing, using the Pythagorean uh, theorem, the radius, the square of the radius of the uh, cylinder is actually the square of the radius of the sphere minus the square of 3, which is 9. So if we replace it and uh, do a little bit of calculations, which are not very pleasant but not very difficult, we end up with a volume of 36 pi. And what is remarkable in this is, is uh, that this volume doesn't depend on the volume of the sphere. Of course, the radius of the sphere at the beginning has to be more than 3, but knowing this, any sphere would, make, uh, would work and the result would be always the same volume. So that leads to another way of solving this problem, knowing that I didn't give you the radius of the sphere and that the problem has a solution, you can imagine that you have a sphere, a sphere with a radius of 3, which makes the cylinder have a radius of 0 and a volume of 0 and the remaining volume is of course the volume of the sphere of a, vol of a radius of 3 which makes 36 pi. So that was another approach knowing that um, I wouldn't have let this video up if I would have forgotten something as important as the radius. I hope you enjoyed this problem and I'll see you next time for next problem. Bye-bye.